presence tonight. We thank you, Lord, for showing us how to lay aside the stuff this week. There's been awesome news um, in all of our camps, and we rejoice in it. And But, Lord, we want to be in your presence. We want to please you tonight. We want to bless you tonight. And, Lord, help us to remove self. Self as in the physical realm or the soulish realm. And, Lord, we desire worship to come out of our spirit, spirit to spirit to you tonight. And Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for drawing us here and that you don't draw us for no purpose. Open our eyes, Lord, because we want to see you. Open our ears, Lord, because we want to hear you. And Lord, we thank you that we can feel you. That your presence is tangible. And we just give you honor in Jesus' name. Lord, I just ask that you would forgive us when we take for granted you in our lives. When we forget to be thankful and overlook the things that you have done on a daily basis for us. And we whine and complain and do our own things, Lord. But you are awesome. You are awesome. We love you, Lord. We love you. We praise you. Father, just receive our prayers. Receive our praise. in you and be in high spirits, I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turned back, they stumbled and perished before you, but you have maintained my right and my cause. You sat on the throne judging righteously. You have destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. The enemy have been cut off and have vanished in everlasting ruins. You have plucked up and overthrown the cities. The very memory of them has perished and vanished. But the Lord shall remain and continue forever. He has prepared and established his throne for judgment, and he will judge the world in righteousness, rightness and equity. He will minister justice to the peoples in uprightness. The Lord also also will be a refuge and a high tower for the oppressed, a refuge and a stronghold in times of trouble, high cost, destitution, and desperation. And they who know your name who have experienced an acquaintance with your mercy, and those who know your name, who have experienced an acquaintance with your mercy, will lean on and confidently put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek, inquire of, and for you, on the authority of God's word and the right of their necessity. Sing praises to the Lord who dwells in Zion, Declare among the peoples his doings, for he who avenges the blood of his people shed unjustly remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted, the poor, and the humble. Have mercy upon me, Lord, have mercy upon me, and be gracious to me, O God, O Lord. Consider how I am afflicted by those who hate me. You 
who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth, that I may show forth, recount, and tell aloud all your praises in the gates of the daughter, the people of Zion. I will rejoice in your salvation and your saving help. The nations have sunk down in the pit that they made, in the net which they hid in their own foot caught, is their own foot caught in the net which they hid. The Lord has made himself known. He executes judgment. The wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. Begin meditation. Think about this. Selah. The wicked shall be turned back, heading into premature death and to Sheol, the place of the departed spirits of the wicked, even all the nations that forget or are forgetful of God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. Thank you, Lord. And the expectation and hope of the meek and the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord. Let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear. Make them realize their frail nature. O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men, just mere men. Selah, come and think. Great and marvelous are you, Lord, and the things you do. With our heart and with our voice, we tell of the marvelous things you do.
Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. We thank you for your grace, Lord. We thank you, Father, for your love, God. Thank you, Lord, because it's an amazing, amazing, amazing love, God. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You are our God and you are our King, Lord. And we bless you and we thank you, Lord, because you are greater than anything we can imagine, God. Our minds are limited, God. We cannot understand your greatness, your vastness, your love, your majesty, your mercies, God. We cannot understand, Lord, how, Lord, you can love us so much, God. How you can be so faithful, so loving, so giving, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because your word says that you have made us, God. And your work is wonderful, Lord. And you have made us, Jesus. And we are that wonderful work of your hands, of your creativity, of your mind, of your love. We are the result of your thoughts, of your desires, of your wishes. We are wonderfully made in your eyes, God. And we bless you, Lord. And we thank you, Father for who we are and what we are and everything we are and everything we have it comes from your hands God and it's lovely and it's beautiful God and it's wonderfully made Jesus we thank you for your love we want to rejoice in your presence God we want to rejoice before you Lord we want to rejoice every morning God when we open our eyes Lord and we see the new day we want to rejoice and be thankful, God, and thank you for your great love and for the mercies, God, that you have prepared for each day, God, that are new every day. We want to rejoice in your goodness. You are faithful. You are good. You hear our cries. You hear our needs. You know everything, God. You have your, our tears your bottle Lord you know everything nothing is hidden from you Lord but your peace surpasses everything any thought any worry your love destroys any fear that wants to overwhelm us is your grace is your presence is your love is your faithfulness in our lives we bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. You are worth. You are worth. You are worth. We love you.
interceding for something or it's you because they always feel the same oftentimes I have to ask the Lord or I don't find out till later <clears throat> I found out yesterday of a couple of things that were going on and I couldn't believe how close it was to what I was going through and I, I just I didn't handle it too well in my person I, I took it as I want everything peaceful and right in my own eyes. But that's not the way this walk works. That's selfish and childish, actually. And I couldn't recognize that I was an intercession, so I was nasty to my own self and world around me. <laughs> I'm serious. Sounds and then like I my day today. <laughs> and I found out. Not only were there serious things happening in certain nations and certain things have been involved in, but the people specifically involved were in such despair that they, they load their life and if they die, it will change directions of nations. I kid you not. And I was showed that. And I realized that the feeling I was having was actually, the feelings I was having was actually that of intercession and it was actually in the midst of that and so I had to look back and see my gosh Lord help me change my thinking my selfish thinking and let me come into this place that yes though things are tough and though things are changing that I was actually in intercession too
So the nastiness and the feelings we're having, you have to sometimes come be not only before the Lord and allow the thoughts to change, because it's not about you and how you're feeling. Oftentimes, he'll reveal to you at a later time that there's, inter yeah, there's intercession involved. And when I saw the magnitude of what the emotions that were being portrayed and texted to me from another part of the earth of what was happening, I realized that I was actually in that place and I was stopped by the Holy Spirit in the middle of Walmart in Franklin. And I began, I got a text and I began to text into the middle of that situation. I'm talking on the other side of the earth. Things that are happening that you see news going on. And what I did is, at that point, is I was able with clarity at that moment, at that moment, I was, at that moment, I was with real clarity able to speak into that situation from what I was experiencing. This is real important to me to share this. It really is. Because this is at the heart of my very core and being. I am as vulnerable as you can possibly imagine. It was a nasty week. I didn't want to live anymore. I don't know why it was hitting. There's a lot of changes. But the despair was overwhelming. And I couldn't break it. I was getting up at 2.33 in the morning, sitting in the cold in the porch, and I couldn't, it wouldn't break. And I said, Lord, this is torture. All I wanted to do was medicate and run. And I was not able to see that, yeah, you're going through things, but he also was putting something on you, on me. And when I saw what was being texted me from, other pla from another place, I had this silly clarity in the midst of it. And the clarity was, these guys are dealing with kings. And when I spoke into the situation, it immediately came back in a Walmart in Franklin that it had changed the whole situation. I can't even process it. It's just this moment that I'm able to even put to words. I haven't even shared this with Elva. Because I've been nasty. Because I thought it's all about me. I thought it was this and me and God and why is this? And I just prayed and it was about, and you, we, it's not, we are a body of Christ with the eternal kingdom of God in you. And we, when we, not only do we come corporate, you ever hear the musketeers, one for all and all for one? But are we able to handle that this walk is not always peaches and cream and blessings and honor. The blessings and honor, we, there are times you go through trials, you count it all joy, but an intercession is, we are put into this place of intercession. And you've heard me talk, intercession is not intercessory prayer. That's a part of it. Hear me. People are going to think I said intercession is not prayer. No, I said it's a part. Intercession is a position. When you intercede in a battle, you've got bullets flying at you, right? Are you praying or are you ducking? Are you listening for the voice of the commander in that, right? And if you, you understand what I'm saying. We're intercessors. We intercede, but we're in him who's the great intercessor. Because if we weren't in him, there would be no blood, there would be no sacrifice, there would be no body to be a part of that we could come to the presence of the Lord and bless him like this. I, I failed in this place that I can't, I, well, I shouldn't say fail, I'm getting better at recognizing when I'm in a place of intercession and the intensity of it, I need to look and ask him. But I take things so personal first and so much inside that I become nasty because I just want to be at ease. I just want to know it's God and happy and relieve me of this. Does this make sense? And see, there's a maturity that comes. When you're a child and you're about, and you want to do what you want to do, and if you don't do what you want to do, you're upset and you just want to feel good again. And you want daddy to make it better. But what daddy's doing is he's protecting you, or he, <laughs> he may have to intercede 
and, and run and stumble and stop you from jumping into the pool because you can't swim when you remember those days, you know, things like that. And he himself may get hurt doing it, trust me, I've been there. I have a daughter that we had to literally put a, practically a leash on her because if she saw water, she bolted and fearless. So we had to intercede. I didn't feel too good. I was scared to death. She's like, woo! And I'm like, oh my gosh! And I'm running, right? Does that make sense? Are we interceding? Are there pains in our life? Yes. But are there things, too, that, you, that are put on us? He left his throne and became a literally a 100% dependent baby lying in, and I'm sorry, it's not a nativity scene he was lying in. It was a dung heap with straw, basically, a manger. <coughs> Isaiah, do you know what Isaiah said about him? Our great king? a great intercessor, that he was ordinary, that he wouldn't even be, there was nothing to look upon to say, oh my gosh, you understand, he was ordinary. His name, Jesus, is like naming him John, right, or Juan, or Hans, right? And then I asked the Lord, why did Judas even betray him with a kiss? And you know why? <laughs> because that's how he greeted each other. You know, they greeted, in the Middle East, they'll do that. The men will do that. Don't ever do that with women, but they do that, right? Because that's how the soldiers would come up to him and wouldn't know which one was Jesus. So he had to be identified. So Judas identified him with a kiss. And that's why Jesus said, you betray me with a kiss? You greet me like a brother? And that's what indicates who I am to these guys? Right? Cultures things. I say all this because sometimes what we carry, we may not quite understand. And I have been really guilty of that of late. I, have been, I just confess my... I thank you, Lord, that I intercede, but I confess my fault. That I don't recognize what I'm carrying. And then worse, because of the pain, because of my stubbornness, because of my spoiledness, I'll just turn my back and act like a spoiled brat and not even talk to the Lord type of thing. You know what I mean? Does anybody, am I the only one that goes through that type of... Uh... My wife told me today, I don't like being around you very much. Your wife I said you got nothing. She wants to tell me that. That's for sure. I said you got nothing. I don't like being around me very much either. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. Well, wherever I go, there I am. You know. <laughs> and, but I think, I'm asking the Lord tonight for something. I'm asking Him that we have an awareness when something is actually being put on us. Yes. Not just individually, yes. but corporately. Listen. I don't want to just have gatherings where we come and bless the Lord and have fun and go home. There is reason and purpose for remnants. Yes. There's assignments that are corporately given. You know what we saw? I'm going to tell you a, a tiny bit is the body of Christ on November 8th. It's come out and make one, just one little thing and a man gets put into office at people are still wondering about. November 8th. Get your patriotic November 8th. Yeah. And they still can't figure it out. God used the foolish things of the earth to confound the wise and it yes. still is doing that, right? That was a corporate move. That was not just one person. That was a corporate move of the body. Imagine what he wants to put on groups on corporate. If we start feeling things that not only do we go through our times of stress, and yeah, there are times of stress, finances, everything, 
but then he actually gives us assignments of carrying things to, to hold on to it and work through it on behalf of somebody that may be doing something either close by or on the other side of the planet. And what I'm telling you is no small thing of the people involved. They're involved in, if you're watching news and watching stuff with movements of gold, these are Christian people involved in all that stuff. They've known for many years, families and that. And they were just under it. I mean, despairing to the point of where's the nearest cliff, you know, that even the feeling of loss, the feeling I was getting is that even if I lost my life, it would not take care of the despair because I still would have to be in front of him with it. Does that make sense? That's why Job, the despair you're talking about, Job, you know, Job was not suicidal. You know what he said? Just think about this despair. And I'm just preparing because the type of intercession we have to go through is really powerful sometimes. It's, Joel said this. He said, Job, he said, I curse and I regret the day of my birth. We say, he's not a nice way of saying I want to die. No, it's worse. He didn't want existence. He cursed that he even existed. Does that make sense? It's not death. It's never was. Jesus had his, when he had to go on the cross and the Father put all the sins on him, do you know what got him through all that? He was alone. You know he was alone, right? My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And you know what got him through? Except for the joy put before him. He had a focus on something. And that's what got him through. Except the joy put before, the joy put before him. He had to believe that he was going to be on the other side. Job, he was cursing the day. He, 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 he took those emotions as his own and cursed the day he was born. He, did, he cursed his own existence and had to repent of that. Jesus didn't do that. That's an intercession. And when we're talking about some serious assignments ahead, what have, the season we've just come into, the season we've just come into, it just started. Just trying to, you know, <laughs> jump in anytime you want. <laughs> I'm just tearing my heart because it's been quite a, quite a thing. We just bless you, Lord. And he gives, so who's, you going through things? You, you're going through things. And let's pray, Savior. Let's just pray, Savior. you want to accomplish tonight. I thank you, Lord, for giving us just ears, ears, ears to hear you and nothing else. And Lord, we bind distraction in the name of Jesus. We bind distraction, whether it's the stuff we carried in or things going on. I just thank you, Lord, right now that this place is holy ground, holy ground, holy ground. And Lord, we thank you that you are present, 
that you are here and that you want, Lord, just to give us our assignments. The thing, the days ahead we know are just starting. They are just starting. The, the beginning of the election was not it. The inauguration is not it. There are things that the evil one wants to accomplish, and I thank you, Lord, right now. He cannot accomplish it. And you just teach us, Lord, how to come in corporately, how to just be one in hearing you like the triangle, Lord. And we thank you, Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for just leading us, Lord, in the path that we should go. In Jesus' name. Lord, I just feel a desperation in my spirit tonight to yes. hear from you. Lord, we don't want to move on our own direction, Lord. We're here waiting upon you. Waiting upon you for your orders tonight. Open up our ears, Lord, that we may hear. Open up our eyes that we may see. Open up our spirits that we may feel your presence tonight. We are yours, Lord. We are yours. you 